Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, or RMSF, is the most severe rickettsiosis in the United States, with mortality rates as high as 25% in untreated cases. The sudden onset of fever and headache at the beginning of illness prompts most people to visit a healthcare provider in the first few days of symptoms. The most important thing frontline providers can do is to keep RMSF in the differential, because if you're not thinking about it, you will miss it. Here are the key clinical messages every provider should know about RMSF. It's a rapidly progressing tick-borne disease with nonspecific clinical findings during early illness. Doxycycline is the drug of choice for treating people of all ages. Treatment is most effective at preventing death and severe disease when started within the first five days of symptoms. And never wait for the rash to begin treatment. RMSF is caused by infection with Rickettsia rickettsii, an obligate intracellular bacterium transmitted through the bite of an infected tick. It is spread by at least three species of ticks in the United States, including the American dog tick, the Rocky Mountain wood tick, and in parts of the southwestern United States and Mexico, the brown dog tick. RMSF cases occur throughout the United States, but are most commonly reported from North Carolina, Tennessee, Missouri, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. The first manifestations of RMSF begin 3 to 12 days after the bite of an infected tick. However, about half of all affected people don't report a tick bite. Initial symptoms include abrupt onset of high fever, headache, myalgia, and malaise. Children with RMSF are less likely to report a headache than adults but more likely to experience periorbital edema or edema involving the dorsum of the hands. If laboratory tests are performed, white blood cell count, platelets, and electrolytes tend to fall within normal limits during early illness. By days two through four of clinical illness, symptoms will often include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, cough, rash, and worsening myalgia. Laboratory diagnostics may show elevated hepatic transaminases, or mild thrombocytopenia. A classic case of RMSF involves a rash that appears two to four days after the onset of fever, as small, flat, pink macules on the wrists, forearms, ankles, and spreads to include the trunk and sometimes the palms and soles. While most patients develop a rash during the course of the illness, less than 50% of patients have a rash during the first three days, when most first seek medical care. In fact, late onset rash is a risk factor for fatal outcome. So the clinician should never wait for a rash to appear to treat for RMSF. If treatment is not initiated and the disease is allowed to progress, days five through seven of illness are characterized by high fever, worsening abdominal pain, which can mimic acute appendicitis or cholecystitis, and worsening respiratory status. The rash becomes petechial and more widespread. These symptoms are a reflection of the widespread vasculitis caused by R. rickettsii. Laboratory tests around days five to seven reflect worsening thrombocytopenia, elevated hepatic transaminases, and electrolyte abnormalities, such as hyponatremia. Beyond day seven of illness, Irreversible damage to vascular endothelium leads to diffuse purpura, necrosis of digits, septic shock, renal failure, pulmonary edema, cerebral edema, altered mental status, and coma. People who survive 
can experience severe sequelae, such as necrosis, necessitating amputation, persistent neurologic deficits, and permanent organ damage. The most frequently used method for confirmation is serology, which measures the immune response and requires a four-fold or greater rise in IgG antibody titer between acute and convalescent phase sera. Acute serum samples should be taken in the first week of illness or while exhibiting symptoms, and the convalescent two to four weeks later. A single serology result cannot confirm RMSF infection. Polymerous chain reaction, or PCR assays, are also used to detect R. rickettsi in whole blood or tissue during the first week of illness. Positive PCR results indicate the presence of R. rickettsi in the sample. Rickettsia circulate in low numbers in the bloodstream early in infection. A negative PCR test in the first few days of illness may not definitively rule out infection. Because RMSF can progress rapidly to severe illness, the decision to treat should be based on clinical suspicion.